Good morning from my, I know this is probably more like a breakfast taco, uh, cause it's just like a, like a small flour tortilla, but I'm going to go ahead and call this a breakfast burrito and I'm going to link the most amazing song down below in the description box that you guys should listen to cause it's so cute. And it's the actual reason why I made this for breakfast this morning. Not only because this is delicious and I love it, it's scrambled eggs, avocado, and the most delicious hot sauce, which I'm almost out of, which is kind of nuts for me. Um, but I'm gonna link that song down below. It made me want to eat this and it made me happy. Maybe it'll make you happy too. Check it out. But I'm gonna go eat my breakfast. Happy Friday, everybody. We are on a date. We're on a date. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to dinner and a movie. We're on a date in a parking lot. Hanging out in a parking lot. <laughs> But the sunset is beautiful. I don't know if I can show it. Where is it? It's over there. It's, well, it's sort of, I think it's behind the Chili's that we're headed to. We're going to Chili's. We're sitting at the bar. Like, I don't know how much we'll be able to film at the bar. Hello. We're just like at the bar. Yeah. Well, it was easy. You can sit here and not wait. Like there's no wait seating here. So or, yeah, we're, we're wait 24 minutes. To eat the restaurant. To eat in the restaurant. So, so we're, we're at the bar. And we would sit next to each other anyway, so I feel like this is like a normal thing. Yeah. I ordered the classic bacon burger and I kind of regret it because it's very tiny and Jen got these things called stingers, right? No, they're called crispers here. Crispers. Everything has a different name ever, <laughs> like everywhere. They're just chicken tenders. Chicken tenders with that are like tossed in, in hot sauce. Like, Thank you so much. Like wing sauce. And they look so good. <laughs> and they smell so good too. So like, I wish I'd gotten that instead of my burger. And they brought a ranch. That trip to Chili's really worked in our advantage because <laughs> Now it is packed. And yeah. we just like walked in, we're like, hey look, there's a seat at the bar, let's go. Boom, sat down, ate, and we're done. That's always a good thing, like, if you guys are here on vacation, oh, Sorry, the, the, so the bright light. I also like got all of my lipstick came off while I was eating, so that was kind of a bummer. But um, if you're here on vacation, and you're like wanting to eat really quick, but you want to go to a sit down place, always check the bar. Yeah. Because usually the bars are full service as far as the food goes. So if you don't mind sitting at the bar, Always check the bar. And now we're going to watch Arrival. Yeah, I'm so excited. Aliens, right? I, I is it texted, aliens? It is aliens. I texted Tim today while he was at work and I was like, would you go on Trent? a date? <laughs> this is not working out to my, there we go, okay. I said, would you go on a date with me, please? And go to the movies with me? And he was like, fine. <laughs> I said, no. No. And she said, you have to. I said, why? She said, it's Friday. And we're married. And I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> So I yeah. guess I'll go be entertained for hours. hours. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna go do. I'm so excited. We'll let you guys know our thoughts on arrival. Yeah. After no spoilers, we're not no. gonna give you any spoilers. Yeah, yeah. But we're either gonna go, or we're gonna go. Hmm. I think it's gonna be more of a. I think it might be a little bit of a. <laughs> we came into the mall and Santa's workshop is already out. Mailbox. And his mailbox. Ooh. Oh, it's empty. He's not got any mail. Oh, oh. oh no. Better close it. Alright, there we go. Look at these gingerbread men. Spoiler alert. We just waved at Santa. <laughs> Santa. You know Santa. Santa is here. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you know what that means? Christmas <laughs> is starting now. How do you always know what I mean? We're married. <laughs> oh yeah. We're here at the movies. So we just watched Arrival. Yeah. And it was it was uh, pretty good. I liked like it. Like it was enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. It was more of a, what do they say? It was more of like a cerebral yeah. movie. Oh like, yeah. It, there was not like a lot of action per no, se. No action at all. There was a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> there, there was definitely a lot of stuff going on at all times. It's more of like a thinking movie, if you know what I mean. There was definitely <laughs> a lot going on in the movie. Yeah, for wait, know, sure. Oh no, here comes the security. All right, we're gonna walk and talk so that we don't get stopped by security. We didn't get stopped by security. <laughs> They just stopped at a stop sign next to us. But, but I feel like they were like, what are they like? What like, are they doing? They're looking at us, yeah, <laughs> because we're weirdos. I mean, I'll admit it. But I, I think that there wasn't, although the movie was very jam packed with things going on, it wasn't like action packed. So I don't know if this is going to be one of those alien movies that people like because there's a lot of like conflict. Like there was no like fighting and stuff like that. So I think that's what made it seem like not a normal alien movie because that's what i'm used to like independence day you right. know um i don't know but i really did like it yeah well i mean the, i didn't like the soundtrack i didn't like the soundtrack at all also as we were walking out some people ahead of us were like we read the wikipedia article and it was based off of a short story i don't know if that's true or not but if it is uh it was very noticeable where they're like trying to make a movie 
that has more to it that they like have like this little idea where they're like, ooh, that's a good idea. Let's make a movie out of that. And then they're like, all right, so, uh, movie, 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 idea. Movie, 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 idea. I just felt like there was like a lot of, of, like they were trying to like force extra stuff into it. Like she's sitting at a computer, like typing away, typing, typing, typing. I'm like, why are we watching this lady type on a computer for like five minutes? Because that's like the pace and tone of the movie. Oh. Like you, that that's the kind of movie it, that it is. Yeah, I'm not cerebral enough no, for it. No, you know what I mean though, right? <laughs> like it's not like, it's not like one of those movies that you can't pay attention to and still enjoy. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. have to be paying attention. And I think that it was, if you've seen the trailer for the movie, you know that the main character is like a language expert and that she is trying to communicate with aliens that have come, that have arrived, and she's trying to communicate with them and speak to them. And that's the point of the movie, that's in the trailer, so that's not like spoiling anything. But I think that a lot of it is language based, so a lot of the time that you're sitting in the movie theater, you are learning the language along with her. Oh. And that is the movie. I didn't learn the language. We don't go to the movie theater very often. Mm -mm. When is it going to happen? Like, I know that eventually they're going to start releasing movies like straight to home access. Well, I think people go to the movies because it's a large screen and the sound quality is great. Right. Whereas like here at our house, I don't think you'd get the same, like, I don't think I would have gotten the same experience watching that movie here that I would have there. That's true. And the only reason why we don't go to the movies is because, um, I don't know, why don't we go to the movies? I don't particularly like the movies. <laughs> when... Like, I don't like the experience of going to the movie. I don't like, because I have to go to the bathroom a lot. Mm. I don't like not being able to pause the movie and go to the bathroom. And also, like, I have to, like, ask people to move out of the way. Like, excuse me, pardon like, me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> um, which, by the way, before I forget, one of you guys actually sent us the gift card oh, for yeah. the movie, so thank you to you awesome guys for giving us a date night. That was really awesome. We liked it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, you won, I'll tell you a, a movie a movie theater story. Um, when I was a little kid, there was a movie theater that's that was near us that we would go to because it was like the cheap theater. Like oh, yeah. Know, only on certain days though, it was like Tuesdays. You could have like dollar movies on Tuesdays. Um, it's not even a movie theater anymore. They turned it into like something else. I think it's a church or something. Yeah. But I got lice from that movie theater when I was in like the third grade, I want to say. Oh my. Yeah. Like every kid that went, there was a bunch of us. I think we went for like a birthday party or something. There was a bunch of kids that went to the movie theater. We were young and we all came home and we had lice. Oh dang. So I always kind of think about that, like how the movie theater isn't really as clean as it probably should be. Oh man, like what? the whole time that we were watching the movie, I was like leaning my head back. <laughs> oh, probably shouldn't have. Darn it. I don't know, maybe it was just that theater. Maybe there's a reason why it's not a movie theater anymore and it's now like, a, I think it's a church. I think it's a school. Oh, well whatever it is. One of the two, you yeah. You can't go there and watch movies and get lice anymore, <laughs> right. I don't think. But Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so I think that has always kind of, which is weird because I that was so many years ago, but that has kind of always stuck with me because it was like a... I'm it, so like uh, itchy right now after that story of life. Sorry, lies. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. But it's true, it happened. Right? <laughs> Another thing about the movie that I just wanted to say that I just kind of realized is that I think one of the main points of the movie or one of the main things that I got from the movie was that um, we all have to work together. Oh yeah. I thought that was a good message and I think that that was something that was kind of cool. Yeah, this is sort of on topic but off topic. I work with somebody, like one, I temporarily worked with somebody that mentioned the phrase to me, teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he's like, we have this one lady at work that one day she said the craziest thing. What? She said teamwork makes the dream work. And I'm like, have you never heard that phrase before? <laughs> and he's like, no, but people true. say that. And I was like, yeah, it's like a common phrase. <laughs> but sorry, that's, it just reminded me of the fact that we have to work together and teamwork makes the dream work. It does, it's really true. It Honestly, is true. Like it really is, like you can't do it alone. So yeah, yeah. Teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. I'm sure there is somebody out there that has a job that they have to do alone. Right. And they'll come out and be like, nope, you're wrong because I am a this thing. Right. So what would, what's a job that you have to do alone that nobody can help you with? Solitaire player. 
I guess you're right. <laughs> that one guy who's a solitaire, like professional solitaire professional player. Professional solitaire He's going to be like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, you like chess player. Is there like... No, you other... have to play somebody in oh, chess. Yeah, you do have you to can't play do against alone. somebody. I guess you could play the computer, but you're still... Right? You still need the computer. The computer's not a person, though. You know what I... Is it? So there's this story of... That's that's all up to the Turing test. We watched another movie that they mentioned the Turing test. Oh no, it was Westworld. Oh, Westworld yeah. was talking about the Turing test, which is like it, it grades um, at, um, artificial intelligence, like how, how smart they are. Well, how lifelike they are. It's basically in order to pass the Turing test, you have to fool enough humans into thinking that you are a human. So okay, really quick. Do you guys remember in, when the internet was like first kind of like a big thing for me anyway? I was like in middle school, I want to say. Um, do you remember Smarter Child? Yeah. And it was like a I don't know I don't know where Smarter Child was. I don't know if it was like on AIM, like on Instant Messenger. I think it might have just been a website. It was definitely somebody that you could talk to, like on AOL or right. Oh, it was I on see. AOL. Yeah, maybe it was AIM. Okay, it might have been on AIM, which was the AOL Instant Messenger, and right. like I used to love Instant Messenger. I thought that was just like the coolest thing ever before texting. But you could talk to the Smarter Child and ask it questions, and it would talk to you like a person. Yeah. Like a try, it wasn't like an adult, I don't think. No, because it's easier. So that's something else that we that uh, they found out from the Turing test is that it's easier to fool somebody if they think they're talking to a child. So yeah, when people make artificial intelligence to take the Turing test, the one that came closest to passing was like a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old boy from Malaysia. Really? Yeah. So there was this thing that I read today, and I don't have the Wikipedia article like I did yesterday, but. There is a person who invented a so-called android back in like the 1600s that would play chess like it was a machine. Had it couldn't have been that maybe a 1700s or so. It was a machine. Is it a, is it along the same lines as like a player piano? Like how a player piano plays the piano, but it's not like a person. Right. It's a mechanism. But, but it, it was a mechanism that played chess against a person. But so it's it not like, a. It's not an AI. Well, it's a mechanism. It, well, it would have been an AI because it could, it, because there's so many different moves that you can make in chess. It's not making the same move. It would react to your move. Hmm. But then it turned out that it was a fraud and there was just like a chess master living inside the cabinet. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. That was really like, like one of the best stories I've ever heard in my life. How long did it pass for like a robot? I don't know. Like a, a long enough for them to be like, Wow, let's send this thing on tour. And they're like, well, we have to feed it. Oh, no. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so theaters, I don't like them. But I do like movies. Yeah, that was actually really nice to like get out and see a movie. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. I'm glad that we went. We had a good date night. It was very fun. We had a fun dinner. Yeah. But what I'm most excited for is tomorrow. Yes. Because tomorrow we're doing something we've never done at a place that we always go to. So that's kind of a cool thing right there. And yeah, we're going to mail a letter from the post office. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. But we are. We're going to do something super exciting. And I think it'll be a nice way to kind of jump back into everything. So. Yeah. Yay. So we're going to go to bed now. Yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.